Welcome to another video of my playlist about reinforcement in Revit. Today we will have a look at how we do fabric area reinforcement. We will first look at how we create them. Uh, we will then have a look at how we can simply change fabric sheet types. Then we will change the location of our systems and then we will change the lab splice length and the lab splice position and we will also describe what those are. And then the last point that we are looking at is the visibility, how we can make our rebus as solid and unobscured in views. So I hope this video will help you and let's dive into it. To speed up things a little bit, I have already prepared a structural floor, a 300 millimeter thick concrete slab and to give it a bit more realistic view I also added some concrete columns. All right so in this tutorial we're gonna look at the fabric area tool and you will find that under the structure tab and then simply go to reinforcement and then fabric area. Now if you hover over this command then you can see that there comes up a few descriptions and if you want more and additional help simply press F1 on your keyboard. Alright so now we just simply click on it and then we get asked to pick structural floor or wall for fabric area reinforcement down in the left bottom. We do that so this is important to know this command only works for walls and for floors. We select our floor and now we have to define our boundaries and we are doing this by simply clicking the edges and then we can also change the major direction from this to this line and you can also see that there is a preview and that also changes. So if we change this again we can see that this changes again. Okay, then we just simply click um, OK for now. And we see that the fabric area reinforcement gets created. Before we dive into, dive deeper into um, the properties and the settings of those um, fabric area reinforcements, uh, I want to explain again that there's two types that we created now. The first one is the structural fabric areas and those are basically that this is quite basically a system that contains all of the little fabric areas, the fabric reinforcements. And if we click on our structural fabric areas, we can see that we have a few parameters that we can change while if we select the structural fabric reinforcement we see that ev almost everything is grayed out we get a lot of data how long the rebars are and so on but we basically cannot change that knowing that now we can select the structural fabric areas and see what we can change here so the first thing that we can change is the fabric sheet, the type, what kind of uh, fabric area you want. And we can simply choose another. And then you can see that the distances have changed, probably also the rebar type, the diameter, and so on. Okay, going back again to our system. Um, we can also change the location and I'm just going in a, the right view to, to show you guys what is going to change now. I'm selecting the system again and I'm changing the location from top to bottom and there you can see how quickly the whole system moves down and that it recognizes the faces, the top and the bottom faces. Selecting this system again, 
we can then also change uh, lap splice position right now it's aligned but we can also say we want major halfway stagger passing stagger i have basically never changed that so far but it is possible to to change those passing staggers as we can see here here that now this has changed which is pretty cool okay then selecting the system again we can also add additional rebar cover um, for example if we say now we want to change that by 10 centimeters which is usually not the case but just to show you guys what is going to change now this whole fabric area moved up as you can see quite a lot and it's not at the bottom face anymore okay and then we have the dimensions the major lap splice length and the minor lap splice length and i'm just gonna annotate that dimension it and show you what those dimensions are all right so the major if we go back and select our structural fabric areas we can see we have a major lap splice length and that is basically the overlap between two fabric reinforcements in the longitudinal direction while the 100 the minor side is it's probably hard to select now must be that one it's 100 it is this overlap um, transversal of two area reinforcement um, sorry um, fabric reinforcement systems to point that out more clearly i'm just gonna change it to a meter here and then you can see what has changed now this dimension obviously is not supposed to be there but just to show you guys now that we have a meter i'm going here and then here and now we have a meter of overlap here and the last thing that we want to look at is now we have only lines in our fabric reinforcements and we cannot change the visibilities in our fabric areas where we actually can change all the other parameters but i'm going to show you now how we can um, change it to solids so you simply you simply select everything you can see then you go to the filter in the right corner check none and then only check structural fabric reinforcement click of, on ok now all the fabric reinforcements are selected and here we have the opportunity to view visibility states so we simply click on edit and then we are in this 3d view we want to have it unobscured and we also want to have it as solid we simply click on ok now it's loading a bit and one more thing then is important that i have already done the detail level must be fine and here we can see that our rebars are now in a solid visibility mode i'm just going to show you what happens if i have cores then it's still the lines i hope this tutorial was useful to you if it helped you then please click the like button it gives me the feedback that it, the videos are actually helping the community and that i can create more 
If you want to learn more about Revit reinforcement, detailing and modeling, then check out my YouTube playlist. The link will be in the description below. And as always, in the next video, we will do the same thing as we did today, just in Dynamo. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.